This is my Super Turbo 800 Elite. This is the rear mechanism of the Super Turbo 800 Elite. Uh, I have upgraded the rear and the front sprocket and the roller chain to number 40. To do this, this upgrade, you're gonna have to make a few modifications. First of all, the this screw here is supposed to hold the, um, the motor in place. Obviously, you cannot use the screw because the, um, the rear sprocket is, is so large that the roller chain would just eat this away. So what I did with this one um, is I use hose clamps to secure the motor to the supporting uh, stru structural members. If you have the new brushless motor, you can drill a hole like somewhere around here and use the screw to hold the motor, the new brushless motor in place because it has a threaded slot for you to screw this in. I'll show you with my other scooter. Unfortunately, this old brush motor does not have a threaded slot here. Another modified scooter, which I affectionately call God Mode. It was a Super Turbo 800 Elite, which I gutted and replaced with my custom parts. This is the rear of the scooter. And as you can tell, I also upgraded the rear and front sprocket and the roller chain to number 40. And as you can tell, this is a brushless motor. So I was able to just drill a hole around this. So this is the original slot that this the mounting screws would go into to hold the motor in place. Unfortunately, as you can tell, this rear sprocket is too large. And as the scooter runs, it would wear, it would eat, literally eat into this screw. So I had to move the the mounting screws up into this position demonstration of the new um, transmission system so this right here is my 1500 super turbo brushless lithium and again this is the rear mechanism and i also have the rear and front sprocket and the roller chain upgraded to number 40. And here you can see what happened when I put this mounting screw down in the original position. The chain essentially ate away at the, uh, the spacer right there. So the original hole again is meant to be right here. And as you can see, when you run the chain, it's going to eat away that screw. So I moved it to this position so I drilled a hole right here and mounted the motor to this instead of down here. All right so I'm going to give you guys a, an early Christmas reward right now because the rear tire is all worn out. I'm going to replace the rear wheel all together because I had a really painful experience trying to replace just the tire so I got a brand new wheel itself. I'm going to put this sprocket Onto here. All right, so the one I use is the Martin 4839, 40 being the size of the sprocket and 39 being the number of teeth. Um, so what I did was I brought a sample rear sprocket to a machinist and I just had him drill out the slots to match the, the inner hole here and the three mounting holes over there. So here, this here is the, rear, the, the front sprocket and I really, really don't want to take this out because it's a lot of hassle. But uh, essentially what you do is you order this part from Amazon, like I'm going to show you on the screen. And then you take a stock front sprocket and you show this to your machinist and tell him you want him to machine out the middle just like this. And because this this new sprocket is going to be so freaking thick, you're going to need a counter bore. Okay, so I forgot to mention, counter boring. You want to counter bore so that the uh, diameter is going to be able to be bigger than this nut here. Or actually the, the washer that goes with this nut. And it's going to have to be counter bored to a depth so that the final thickness is only this thick as the original front sprocket. So this is what the rear sprocket looks like removed from the rear wheel. There's a slot down here for pumping up the, the tires so you get to the, the tire valve. And these three slots are the three holes that are equivalent to the original stock sprocket. 
and the only difference being that these are counter counter bore so that the um the screw here this head will be will be able to sit in like that okay what i'm doing right here is i am tapping these holes a lot deeper so that they can accommodate the one and a half inch screws that i bought this is the stock screw which i feel is too short since i'm going to be running a lot of power with a scooter it's a bigger sprocket i went to the hardware store got an inch and a half m6 times one screws so because it's um it's longer i need to tap these holes a little deeper all right, so I just got the uh, new wheel onto the uh, 1500 model scooter and uh, it So here is the roller chain size number 40 from Amazon when you order from Amazon It's gonna come in about 10 foot lanes. You're gonna have to use a chain breaker tool to break to uh, get it to the right length for your scooter um, I for the life of me I I can't locate I can't seem to locate my chain breaker tool otherwise I can show it to you on video.